To be honest, I have uh, the hardest time versus this guy in this category. Very, very hard fighter. Well, Charles Condit is not so great fighter. But uh, what I'm trying to do, I will try to counter him. I will not attack that much like I did with uh, George St. Pierre. George St. Pierre did not have uh, the skill to defeat me with his stupid wrestling skills, and his submissions were pretty, pretty bad comparing to mine. But uh, he was striking better, and it was a bit lucky because I strike him to the knockout. But if Carlos found it, I would have to be very, very warm. He's a totally different type of fighter. Let's just see. Let's just hear this. because I had no choice. Uh, this, guy, this guy is a really, really awesome striker. A really awesome grappling specialist and this is what I don't want uh, to risk, with, risk up with him. 
You have to get the fish from where this guy's like him. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. Here's that unbelievable What the counter. His stomach is damaged, but not that much. We start round two. This fight's scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. What an exchange here. Some vicious kicks. He caught the kick, and down he goes. Oh! Beautiful flying punch. All right, you're boring. As moves in the half guard, the transition. He's in the full mount, Joe. Oh, yeah. He's constantly resting. I know, I can't do anything. Oh, big shot, he's hurt. Well, it looked like he was hurt, but he snapped He won't let me out of this mount. Alright, you wanna fight that way? No problem. Trying to utilize the cage to get back to his feet. Come on, trip him. He's got to take down the guard here. Here's in the half guard. Mount. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Half guard. Oh! You wanna fight to the head? If you want to fight to the head, you'll get to fight to the head. This was unfortunately his round. 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 Unfortunately, this was his round. He was a lot better. Very well saved in there. Yeah, the submission was locked in tight. And any the round in a dominant position like that. I don't that know, but uh, I must be very worried judges. about this see that he was rocking me once. Yeah, but I was rocked once. This is really, really bad. The cat is nasty. We have three rounds more, but uh, to be honest, I'm afraid a little bit. He was mounting me pretty much hard. He was so boring with that full mount. Sometimes you have no choice but to strike. And we are set for the start of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five. Five minute rounds. A good counter. Sometimes it's better to throw shorter, quicker punches, and that's what we're seeing here. Oh, flying on bar! Great submission defense! I'm going for a switch. But unfortunately, he's always slipping out of it. He's so annoying with this man. Alright, I'll just... Oh, yeah. No, not again. Oh, 
This was two his round. I must not be seated out or I'm losing the title. I love the intricacies of the ground game, but neither guy seemed willing to take a chance when it went there, which makes for a very stale, very unexciting matchup. I know that the match is very unexciting, but I simply have no choice sometimes. Let's go to the These stupid transitions are always working. If I don't knock this city out, I'm losing the title. Well, I had four rounds, opportunity didn't come, so I have nothing to lose. I have limited power, limited stamina, unfortunately. I know to strike, but not. It's obvious that this is not uh, efficient enough for this guy. This is the fifth and final round. Oh, nice counter left to Sterling. So how is he going to go? Oh, nobody landed. And now he's answered. Oh, but he made a left to the left. And he's risers. Oh, these are big strikes. 
I keep having a body out of the life. This one day is it. Yeah. 